Finally tonight, an environmental problem all over the world, really, where you can't see the forest because the trees are gone. As long as we all insist on living in wooden houses and doing things like reading the paper every day, that, of course, takes trees. One way to harvest them is to mow them all down, so-called clear-cutting. The obvious damage that can do to a forest, a habitat, has led to some alternatives. Our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson, has the story tonight from Northern California. The landscape of the Pacific Northwest, marked by the demand for timber. These big bare patches where trees once stood are clear cuts, the design of big companies to get timber efficiently and cheaply. And this is the forest as nature designed it, 40 acres preserved by one timber company that's found something in between. In Chester, California, Jay Francis proudly points out there. there are no Spectrum. bare spaces on the Collins Pine Company land. How recently was this area logged? 2006. Two years ago? Yes. And yet there are trees still standing? Oh, yes. Yeah, the idea is to take some and leave some. It's kind of like a garden uh -huh. where we do some thinning, let the trees that we're going to keep continue to grow. It's called sustainable logging. There's no clear cutting and replanting of just one kind of tree. Instead, nature does the work. Why is that mix so important? We don't want to get locked into just having one type of tree here. It is crucial for the variety of animals that live here, from the bald eagle to the black bear. Do you make money doing it this way? Yes, we do make money. A private company that has existed for 152 years. It works the old-fashioned way, mapping nearly every tree, measuring and recording the growth. So that we're confident we're never cutting more than what we're growing. That waste not ethic extends to the mill, where leftover wood chips power the saw, earning the coveted Forest Stewardship Council seal. They want to see that corporations are committed to environmental and social responsibility. Over time, Collins has taken enough lumber from here to build 20,000 average homes. But its mark is a forest still thriving for man and nature. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Chester, California.